So I was going through a lot of my videos and trying to figure out things I haven't covered yet. And one of them that I haven't is the Jack Raven kit for the MCW, which came out at the launch of this game. So it's extremely surprising. I actually never got down to covering it. But now that I remember, the Jack Raven kit did end up getting a buff in order to help the overall recoil of it. And I think that's why I never covered it in the first place. This thing was pretty mid before until they buffed it up. And now that I've actually deep dove into it and created a build that I'm proud of, this thing's no joke, I'm gonna be honest. Obviously, it doesn't perform like a stereotypical MCW, but think of it like the Peacekeeper. It's gonna be very good at close and medium range while it does have the downfall of long range fights. So the Jack Raven kit here is the first attachment you wanna throw on, increasing your rate of fire, mobility and handling, damage at close range and hip fire attack stand spread at the sacrifice of recoil control along with bullet velocity and damage range. It performs a lot like the BP-50 conversion kit, but it definitely has a bigger penalty towards that recoil side of things. But you can make up for that with some particular attachments. So it is going to increase the headshot damage by 17%. That is actually quite massive because even if you sprinkle in one headshot, it's going to help your TTK along with a 12% increase to the rate of fire. Along with that, we are getting mobility along with sprint to fire speed. Here's what I'll say. I still think the BP-50 conversion kit is better for close range fights, but this one is going to outweigh it in the forms of damage range because it is a more viable medium range option. For my next attachment, I do have an optic with the Jack Glassless optic. As always, this is a preference. Feel free to run whatever you want, but if you're undecided, the Jack Glassless is a very good option. To speed up the mobility even further, I'm going with the Jack Cutthroat stock here to increase aim walking speed, aim walking steadiness, along with overall movement speed. And once again, we we are going to hide the camera here so you guys can see all of the mobility we're gaining. It's really that stray speeds there at 12% to the ADS movement speed and an additional 2% there to the movement speed. But hidden statistic here, we are gaining some recoil control. So at the end of the day, it does end up helping you out. I don't know if this is bugged. I really didn't notice an aim down sight speed decrease. I could be wrong about that because as you can see in the cons, it doesn't actually say that. And you're technically supposed to be losing recoil with this attachment. But as you can see with the statistics here, it may be bugged out a little bit. Uh, it just seemed like the best stock after playing around with all of them. I really like this one. On to my next attachment, I have the Zem Compensated Flash Hider simply to help with a little bit of that recoil that we lost. And that's gonna control vertical, horizontal, and visual recoil control in the form of fire aiming stability. My most used muzzle here on the channel, so this really shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. Of course, if you're struggling with recoil control, there's plenty of other muzzles you can try out. This is my preferred, and I still think you guys should try it out either way. And for my final attachment here, I have the Kimura Black Iron Heavy Short Barrel because of the conversion kit i wanted to speed this weapon up as much as possible and that's exactly what this barrel is going to do so not only is it increasing that sprint to fire speed there you can see by seven percent we're also gaining more ads movement speed crouch movement and movement speed so we're absolutely maximizing the movement here with the mcw i'm gonna come out and say it this is definitely a little bit of an off book kind of build for me because normally i'm targeting things like very low recoil and just overall versatility where i kind of just went full-fledged aggression mode full-fledged movement with this build so if you're an aggressive player i definitely recommend you put these attachments on and give it a try and as always here's the rest of my loadout on the screen if you guys wanted to copy this down and give it a try make sure you guys are hitting the like and subscribe button for me as always help promote the video so other people can find this absolute banger let's jump into this gameplay you can see what the mcw in this particular case all the movement all the aggression is capable of i actually don't think i've ever covered the conversion kit for the mcw and someone in my comment section pointed that out to me i could have i'm not 100 percent all this does is make it a very aggressive option to keep a long story short it definitely has some negatives in the sense of recoil control is definitely not as good but if you can get past that learn to control the recoil play how it's intended to be used think of it like an smg think of it like the peacekeeper right how did you use that thing? You used it like an aggressive assault rifle. You get both AR and SMG tendencies via the damage range. The damage range is definitely best used at medium range, but you get the best of both worlds. Best way to describe it. Honestly, that guy's head is huge. Whatever skin he is running, he is a big boy. That guy, his head's huge. I'm gonna stop taking that. Oh, of course I go to flank and they flip. That's just my luck. We're gonna keep it going. I need five kills for that VTOL. I like the pace of this one. These guys are aggressive. 
I like it. All right. I'm going to probably turn around. I don't know if I'm going to turn around, actually. I don't know where they're at. I didn't get the assist. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. That was almost tragic. There's our VTOL. These guys are aggressive. I dig it. Uh, one's behind us. I guess my question is, where did he go? Did he run away? Now the next question is, oh, never mind. I answer my question. Answer itself. I was gonna ask, what route do I want to take? I literally just killed this guy and he spawned next to me. It's insane. I'm just spawn trapping the guy. I feel bad. Look at this, they're spawning next to me. Look at this. I don't remember the spawns being this bad. This guy's chasing me for the hill. Oh my God, look at this spawn. Without a doubt, I die to these people. Without the advanced UAV. Without a doubt, man. This is insane. I didn't predict that. I didn't know that was a spawn trap. I didn't know that was a thing. And I'm finally dead, but my, my goodness, dude. I for sure die there in every other circumstance. Game's winding down here. Advanced UAV's in. Another VTOL to call in. I'm just going to back up for a second here before I run at this hill. Make sure I got my ammo. Make sure I call my VTOL. Another advance. This is, I don't even know what the heck just hit me. Wait, when did I get another DNA bomb? Sure. Oh, hold the phone. Now they're advanced. 
No one wants to come this way. Oh, you changed your mind. Good kill. 84. I mean, dude, I've been single handedly stomping. It's kind of insane. Oh, and now I'm on a death streak. We got Loop Nuke giving me the sauce. Hitting this flank. What are we gonna find? All right. UAV. Yeah, nice try, Poncho. You got me. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, dodge. That's going to be it, I think. I think that's going to be it. 96, couldn't lock in the 100, but man, I featured that perfectly. That's how you got to play.